just a couple of moments ago at the stroke of midnight, our next guest turned another year older, and all she wants for her birthday is two seats in the U.S. Senate. The Georgia runoff is on January 5th. Please welcome Stacey Abrams. Hi, how are you? I am well, thank you. And I love your idea for a birthday present. Happy birthday to you, by the way, Stacey. Thank you. Thank am you I the, very much. Am I the first, or ha have you been wished a happy birthday already? You are the first to do it as of the stroke of midnight, yeah. Very exciting. May I, may I ask how old you are on this birthday? I am now 47 years old. Can you demand a recount for something like this? I, given the, the evidence that's piled up over the last 46 years, I think I would have a, a similar losing streak to, to Donald Trump. <laughs> It's tough having a birthday in December. You really have to compete with Jesus and Santa Claus and everybody. And a sister. My, my younger sister, Leslie, her birthday was uh, Sunday, so she got here first. Well, I got here first, but she's, you know, three days before me. Well, wish her a happy birthday, too. How many times do you think President Trump has to lose Georgia before he concedes? It's, we're up to three already. <laughs> You know, I'm offering a fourth. Uh, <laughs> I am sure you're aware of this, but Republicans seem to be somewhat obsessed with you. Take a look at the, this video. Real Sean, quick. let me just say one thing. Governor Kemp is no different than Stacey Abrams right now. She did this consent decree, and by not doing this, Governor Kemp is Stacey Abrams, and that go. is despicable. And the Republicans simply have to turn out more votes than Stacey Abrams can steal. And for whatever reason, your secretary of state and your governor are afraid of Stacey Abrams. They're afraid of her. Now, why uh, do you agree that they are afraid of you? I, I don't try to plumb the depths of their minds. <laughs> I, I, all I know is... <laughs> because you seem to be very nice. I don't know why they would be afraid. I'm, I, I want one thing, and that is for every eligible voter to be able to cast their ballot for that ballot to get counted. Apparently, they don't want everyone to be counted and they don't want everyone to vote. We just, we, we just disagree. And I would say that the rest of America agrees with me, so yay. Yes, yes. I think probably almost all of America agrees with that principle, but they are getting many confusing messages. Are you surprised that Governor Kemp ha has not kind of capitulated to the president's demands? This isn't about heroism or strength. This is about the law. Mm -hmm. A number of lawsuits have been filed that have forced the hand of the Secretary of State, and the Constitution precludes the governor's intervention. We know that voter suppression is real. In fact, we were able to prove it in a court. I wrote a book about it, Our, Our Time Is Now. I did a film about it, All In, The Fight for Democracy. We've got evidence. They have none. And the problem is you have a hard time winning an argument when you have absolutely no proof that something happened. <laughs> but I, I don't give them credit for, for heroism. <laughs> I give them credit for being afraid of the law. Yeah, and, and for really like the principles on which this country was founded, that we have a, each have a vote as an adult and that we have a democracy. Who would have ever guessed that would be challenged in any way? So now we have uh, the runoff election that is on uh, January 5th. You got, and it comes down to these two seats that tip, would tip the balance of the U.S. Senate, and there you are. And again, you are just trying to make sure that people are able to vote and that, um, and that everything is done fairly. Was the first election done fairly? Yes, it was. We, we haven't defeated voter suppression, let's be clear. It still exists. And in fact, Republicans here in Georgia are already discussing how they can reintroduce it coming in January when the, the legislative session starts again. But for now, we've been able to make it easier for eligible voters to cast their ballots. And nearly 5 million of them did. And Biden won. But more importantly, they forced a runoff. And I believe that John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock will also win because when people have a choice between two existing senators who plunder and profit during this pandemic, and two men who've done nothing but try to serve the people, I think the people of Georgia will make the right choice. Obviously, this was an exhausting uh, campaign, and, and uh, you know, we really pulled out all the stops to get people to vote. Do you think that people are fired up in Georgia, that they are ready to do this, that they want to cast their votes? Well, we had a wonderful statistic that came out today 
of the more than 1 million absentee ballots that have already been requested, 70,000 are from people who didn't vote in November, and they are disproportionately young and disproportionately people of color. These are the folks who are the least likely to turn out, and they understand that what's at stake and that they need to show up and that Fair Fight is there with them to make sure their votes get counted. I guess this is uh, one of the good, the silver lining to all of the craziness that has gone on is that young people are getting out and voting in numbers that they, they hadn't before. You are, you're having a, um, a, ca a TV show cash reunion you're a part of uh, for the show Supernatural, which was on what, the CW? Was that uh, WB or CW <laughs> show? It was both. It was 15 seasons. I, they, they crossed over. And is this a show that you love? Why are you involved in Supernatural? <laughs> I started watching Supernatural during my primary in 2017, became hooked. I've now binge watched every single season. I'm three episodes away from the end. Oh. So please don't spoil anything. <laughs> but it is the most fantastic show, and I love it. Will you have watched the finale by the time the cast reunion happens? It, I will not, but I will plug my ears and hum to myself if they start saying anything I don't want to know yet. You can't cram three episodes in between now and then? Well, I'm talking to you. Oh. I've got a birthday to celebrate. I've oh. got a, two Senate seats to win. It's been a busy week. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs> Were they confused when you called them and said you wanted this? Well, actually, they reached out to me, Eric oh. Kripke and Misha Collins, saw that I've, I talked about them actually in an interview, I think, with either Time Mag, I think it was in Time Magazine. I see. I talked about how much I love the show, <laughs> and I am known to occasionally tweet out my affection for television shows that I adore, and I think they saw me and they reached out, and once I finished squealing internally, I responded with a very professional tone and said, <laughs> we'd love to have your support, a fair fight. Stacy. You know, I think it's unusual um, uh, to be involved in an election in a state that you don't live in. But how can and is it appropriate for people to be involved in uh, an election in Georgia who don't live there? So there are two things you can do. You can go to gasenate.com, and then you can also go to helpwingeorgia.com. Both of those websites help you either contribute to the work that we're doing to turn out those voters who need the most help getting back to the polls, and helpwingeorgia.com help when tells you how you can sign up to be a volunteer. Anything that you want to do will help you get directed to do it. The one thing we say is please stay where you are. Send your love, send your support, but keep yourself at home. Uh, COVID is real, and we want everyone to be safe when we win this election. Thank you very much. Thanks for all the work that you're doing, and happy birthday. Thank you so much, Jimmy. It's been delightful. Stacey Abrams, everyone. We'll be back with Ari Lennox. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.